Hello. Oh, whoa. Hello. Oh, hi. I think they should put the end at the end of every newspaper. On the last page after the last sentence, I think. Every day they should type the end. Today I'm opening my very first fountain pen. It's a Pilot Metropolitan. Comes in this classy box. It's got a nice weight to it. It's nice and shiny. Nice piece of hair hanging off of it. It feels really nice on the paper. It's got this smooth, slick feeling. It feels better to like carry it around with me. And then like if I have to sign my name on something, if anybody says, does anybody have a pen? And I pull out this thing, I feel so good. It comes with an ink cartridge. Take out the old one, then you slide in the, slide in the new one when it runs out. And I got some extra, I got a box of extra ink cartridges. And if you're drawing a lot on the go, you could probably make like a utility belt out of these. And have like a self eject button where you it runs out and then it just automatically discharges and the next one automatically just slides in there. And then you could just go about town fighting crime and drawing with a fountain pen. I got a hankering to get a fountain pen. I made a video a while back about going through creative block, creative constipation, as I've been calling it with my friend. I think that there's a lot of ways, if you think about it, to get through creative blocks. It doesn't make them any less painful. One way is to try out some kind of new material or medium or something that you maybe wanted to try for a while, but you didn't for any reason. So this fountain pen was kind of my, one of the steps along the way. I went to Peter Draws, YouTuber, and he reviews a lot of pens, does a lot of drawing videos. He had a video about this one. I don't think I even watched the video. I think I just, I just wanted to get a new pen really bad. So I went to his channel and just looked for a name of one. And this one does not disappoint. Let's do a real drawing with this pen. I've never had a fancy pen like this. I've had some okay drawing pens. Never a pen where I felt like this is, this is my pen. Like this pen is a part of me. If I lost it, I would be a little upset, which is kind of funny to say about a pen. Also, if you think about it, it's funny that everybody uses pens, but nobody would really think that about their pens. I'm sure some of you are like, I have a pen and my grandfather stole it from Clock Tower in London, England, when he was fighting in the Great Crusade Battle of 1784, and if I lost that pen, I'd be super upset too. Arr. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to 99% of other people. Most people live their lives with a million pens, drowning in pens, but never have a pen. And I feel like with this pen, for the first time in my life, I have a pen. I still misplace it sometimes. And that happens, and I realize I need a pen. I go, where's my pen? Having a relationship with a, uh, with a nice object instead of living in a heap of garbage. It's inhumane to just be surrounded by millions of half usable pens. I'm reading this book of essays by Alan Watts called Does It Matter? And it's all about materialism. People tend to say that Americans, Westerners are too materialistic. But he argues that we're not actually materialistic because if we were materialistic, we would have nicer things. This pen makes me think of his ideas in his essay, Murder in the Kitchen. He makes fun of how, how we look at food in a theoretical way. We put nutritional content on the side of food because we want to do what's good for us. And he says, for the good to which we aspire exists only and always in the future. 
Because we cannot relate to the sensuous and material present, we are most happy when good things are expected to happen, not when they are happening. We get such a kick out of looking forward to pleasures and rushing ahead to meet them that we can't slow down enough to enjoy them when they actually come. We are therefore a civilization which suffers from chronic disappointment, a formidable swarm of spoiled children smashing their toys. Something about that seemed true. We're always investing in the future and the future never comes We're never satisfied in any moment my favorite line that he says is instant coffee is a punishment for being in a hurry i like alan watts he's an interesting guy if you're interested there's a lot of clips of him on youtube talking and they're very entertaining to say the least he's best known for being an interpreter of Zen Buddhism in the Western world. I don't subscribe to everything that he says, but I don't think that you should subscribe to everything that anybody says. But he's very enjoyable to listen to. He has a nice British accent. I've been watching a lot of film noir lately. What does film noir mean? I, I'm just gonna Wikipedia it. Film noir is a cinematic term used primarily to describe stylish Hollywood crime dramas, particularly those that emphasize cynical attitudes and sexual motivations. 1940s and 1950s are generally regarded as the classic period of American film noir. Film noir of this era is associated with low-key, black-and-white visual style that has roots in German Expressionist cinematography. Many of the prototypical stories and much of the attitude of classic noir, noir derive from the hard-boiled school of crime fiction that emerged in the United States during the Great Depression. And they are, they're really fun to watch. They talk like this, you know? Talk, they talk about wise guys. They talk about mean dames. They talk real fast and they plan robberies. Yeah, it's just a good time. Detour, this guy who's uh, chasing his girlfriend to Hollywood. She went there and she's starting to make it big and he decides to hitchhike. A lot of bad things start happening to him. <laughs> Pitfall, this married man starts an affair with somebody that one of his colleagues is interested in and his colleague ends up being a lot more unruly than he than he had thought. Kansas City Confidential, that, that one was really good. A heist movie. He Walks by Night, it's a good one. We're talking Moida! Check out Film Noir, check out Alan Watts, get yourself a fountain pen. I mean, this is the, this is the stuff that life's about. You got a Zen philosopher, you got some old crime movies from the 40s, you got a nice, shiny, slick pen. This is the type of stuff we live for. As always, if you like this video, there are many ways that you can support it by going to parkerwinens.com. I have skateboards that you can buy now. I have prints and original artwork. Should have some new t-shirts coming soon. I have some, should have some new music on my band camp up soon. And you can always just subscribe to this, to my YouTube or follow me and share my stuff on other social platforms. Thank you.